She always not an E. Welcome. I uh, so just said hello, my friends, for those uh, uninitiated to Cherokee, Chichalagi, among many, many other things we'll talk about as uh, you get to know me and hopefully I get to know you. That's the purpose for this uh, blog series that I'm starting today for a good reason. Um, forgive me if I appear to squint. I'm outside in the morning sunshine. I'm a big proponent of getting sunlight first part of the day. Uh, great for melatonin production, mood, energy boost. All of our energy comes from the sun. Um, our creator, Una Nahi, uh, our God, he, he had it right, you know. It's a perfect source right there for everything. Uh, everything we eat, everything we see. Uh, we're here because of you know, the, the grand design. Um, but I'm doing this because as many of you who know me personally... Um, I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease some time ago, um, and I have actually been living with young onset Parkinson's disease since my 20s. Um, so with that said, if I tend to move a bit uh, in the camera view, you'll know that's a, uh, not a symptom of Parkinson's disease, but a symptom or a byproduct of the Parkinson's medications, something a lot of people tend to get. Uh, confused about um, but yeah my journey started in my late 30s uh, on deployment and uh, a stateside deployment to help train up uh, three CAGs two Navy um, F-18 wings and a Marine Corps F-18 wing helped train those guys to communicate with the F-22 Raptor when they were uh, uh, for their deployment I believe on the Nimitz, if I remember correctly, uh, to go fight ISIS in Syria back in 2014. Uh, while on that deployment, working out in a gym, on my left leg, I could not push off with it on an elliptical machine and knew that wasn't right. By the time I got back home uh, from the two and a half weeks of training, uh, my arm, left arm, wouldn't stay still. Uh, that led a long process, which I can get into in another video about getting the Parkinson's diagnosis. And I'm starting this video series now because yesterday I got some news, uh, follow-up news, if you will. Uh, three months ago when I went in for my Botox, inter intermuscular, intramuscular Botox injections for my dystonia and the pain associated with dystonia. Excuse me, our... Uh, Let's see, yep, that's the Coast Guard. I live close to the ocean here in sunny Florida, so I get frequent Coast Guard visits. Hey, boys, thanks for your service. Um, as well as the Seahawk, Blackhawks, Navy Blackhawks, Seahawks from the uh, Naval Air Station back that way, across the river, um, ocean that way, where the Coast Guard chopper is coming from right now. But anyway, uh, three months ago, visited the VA hospital in Gainesville, and uh, the neurosurgeons at the Fixal Institute at UF will be doing my surgery, uh, deep brain stimulation, DBS surgery. Got the approval to go ahead with the process to uh, become a candidate for that surgery. The, my last visit three months ago, my visit yesterday, uh, got more injections um this should kick in here in another three days or so uh, give me some pain relief uh, but i was told yesterday i'm going in march uh 6th and 7th for a two-day workup uh one day of testing and baselining off meds and the next day on meds that's not gonna be a fun day you guys will get to see it i hope some of it um and then on the 22nd my case and all my data go before an interdisciplinary council at UF and they determine yay or nay uh, whether to schedule me for my surgery. Originally, uh, I was given some info that led me to believe that within a month, uh, maybe even weeks depending, I could be brought back in for my first of three outpatient surgery, we call it surgery, um, visits. Uh, the first to be fitted with a halo, the implant, the hardware under my chest. I call it the Darth Vader box. Then they implant two wires that go over my shoulder and then up the back of my neck. 
and I have to heal from all that, obviously, going underneath the skin, underneath the muscle tissue, uh, take about a week, I guess, for that soreness and stuff to wear off. And then they bring me back in for procedure number two, which will be the drilling of a nickel sized hole in the back of my head. And then they drop a metal lead into my brain uh, down to the limbic system on the uh, right hemisphere. Because the, the, my symptoms started on the left side, they are definitely worse on the left side. Uh, so they're going to target that first. And then there'll be a time period for adjustments to get over that surgery. And then they'll bring me back in and do the left hemisphere. So repeat everything on the right side of the back of my head. Um, so three different procedures, a little bit of recovery, looking forward to it. It will almost take care of all my motor symptoms, uh, which will be a blessing for sure. Uh, no more Botox injections, hopefully. Um, my mobility will pick up, oh, definitely be better. Excuse me, drop my book. I'm usually out here reading a book of my choice. each morning while I get my 10 to 15 minutes of sunshine. Um, so yeah, but yesterday I was told that um, it may be that I not I will not be asked to come back for the halo part and the hardware insertion until June. So we got a little time to spend together, uh, get to know one another and keep you abreast of how I'm doing with my journey towards deep brain stimulation surgery for the young onset Parkinson's disease. Um, and yes, I'm a disabled veteran. Um, and for those of you who know me, this is this is probably temporary. I don't know. I'm trying to save, you know, with the inflation as it is, I'm trying to save some money on razors. I kind of like it's growing on me, literally. Um, and uh, at least keep it through March, I'm thinking. Spring comes early to Florida, so man, March is probably my limit. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get back to reading and join us beautiful day out here and uh i look forward to hearing from you guys comment below uh hit the subscribe button and uh follow my journey with me come along let's have some fun and if you got young onset if you have young onset Parkinson's disease you have parkinson's disease or a family member know someone who has parkinson's uh tell them about the channel i'll bring them along for the journey too they can see what dbs is all about all right thank you have a good day